I'm Alison and here's your daily dose of showbiz goss. Heath Ledger's sudden death has not only shocked the movie world, it sent reverberations around the planet. It's reported the news caused an internet meltdown as millions logged on to read the story. Yahoo claims their figures rocketed by over 110%. Meanwhile, we're still no closer to finding out how the 28-year-old died as results from an autopsy were inconclusive. Findings from tissue and toxicology tests are expected to take between 10 to 14 days. Another day, another court drama for Britney Spears. But this one didn't go as well as Monday's. The 26-year-old singer amazingly arrived on time. But the star was apparently seen leaving the building in LA soon after without actually entering the courtroom. It means she's lost her bid to see her two young sons again as the current orders still stand. Ex-husband Kevin Federline was given full custody earlier this month when Brit was hospitalised after refusing to hand over the tots. It's a treat to get one legend in London, so movie fans were no doubt beside themselves last night as they got two. Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman took to the red carpet in Leicester Square for the premiere of The Bucket List. It's all about a couple of dying men who come up with a bunch of things to do before they check out. While Morgan says in real life he's fulfilled one of his big ambitions after teaming up with Mr Nicholson. Uh, working with Jack, I always wanted to do that and uh, it was everything was cracked up to be. So far, it's seen the likes of Paris Hilton, Josh Hartnett and 50 Cent. So it was only a matter of time before Diddy showed up at Sundance. The music mogul joined the hip parade in Utah. He wasn't there just to grab the swag, though. Dids, who now wants to be called Sean John, was there for the premiere of new film A Raisin in the Sun. And want to get a piece of Hayden Panettiere? Well, now you can. The hero's hottie is flogging clothes from her very own wardrobe. It's all for a good cause, though. Proceeds from PanettiereCloset.com go to the Save the Whales charity. The actress feels so strongly about the cause, she took part in a demonstration against killing the animals last year and ended up in trouble with the Japanese law. And that's all your latest showbiz goss.